So apparently today in New York, there's been multiple women posted on TikTok that they're getting punched in the face by random men and men are refusing to step in. You guys, I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. I can't even talk. Literally, I fell to the ground and now this giant goose egg is forming and I'm like, Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so crazy. You always hate to have to question the validity of these types of stories, but when you live in a time where people will literally sell our nuclear secrets to China just for ad revenue, you start to question everything. And any man that's punching women in the face randomly needs to be beaten and arrested because he's probably sick. But if you get knocked unconscious and you wake up and your first thought is, how can I monetize this? You probably got some issues. Okay, just want to give an update on getting punched in the face. I said I was done fucking crying on the internet and here I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am going to the hospital. I feel like I'm probably... Oh my god, it looks, it looks like I have a fucking double horn. Um, honestly, that's kind of fitting. Anyway, um, yeah, I was just walking on the sidewalk and my head was down. I was like looking at my phone, just sending an email. But there was so much room on the sidewalk and like literally nobody was around. And I guess this man, I don't know if he punched me or if he owed me. I literally passed out. <laughs> so I don't really remember. But... I think he just was really mad that my head was down. He was walking a dog. So he took it upon himself to body check me and let me know to be conscious of my surroundings, which now I fucking will be. And then I fell to the ground and I like literally blacked out for a second. But then I got up and he was screaming at me, like screaming at me. And I was just like scared. So I literally just ran away. And then I was like, wait, am I crazy? Like what the fuck just happened? And then I was like, oh, oh, okay, cool. But yeah, I'm going to just urgent care i'm it's that's probably so fucking drama i could put some frozen peas on it and be fine but everybody's like go to urgent care and since i did black out for a second maybe just in case i have a concussion or something i don't know we'll see. i'm done with the conversation now sit back down i'm sad don't understand how you can get knocked unconscious and your first thought is let me call my friend set up a tripod so we can make trendy tiktok it's almost making a mockery of the whole situation but at the same time there are so many different women talking about this they all can't be lying all of these videos that i'm about to show you were posted within the last 24 hours so i just got punched in the face walking home i was literally like leaving class i turned the corner and i was looking down and i was looking at my phone and like texting and then out of nowhere this man just came up and hit me in the face um uh, yeah listen, so i i have fallen victim to uh the <laughs> the um men in new york city lifting an elbow or trying to punch innocent girls on the street except i wasn't on my phone i was with my coworkers walking in times square so be safe and there's dozens more of those videos on tiktok now there are some theories that are going around amongst the women that are saying these guys are andrew tate followers they are red pill guys that are just bitter because women don't want to have kids anymore or have families and they're just stretching so hard they might pull a hamstring one of the women recorded a video of the guy that assaulted her but i turned around at the moment and he was running after me and he ended up just like walking down the avenue and i ended up taking a video <laughs> Now, I know you don't want to judge a book by his cover, but I doubt that that guy is hitting people because he's watching Andrew Tate. The truth of the matter is, and I don't want to get too political, but when you vote to defund the police, and then you vote to get rid of the guns to protect yourself when there's no police, and then you have insane homeless people living in the streets, and then instead of taking care of those insane homeless people, you vote to bring in immigrants and prioritize those immigrants over the insane homeless people, people get violent. And when people are going insane and they're doing fentanyl on the streets when they start attacking people they're gonna attack the most vulnerable people i don't know when people are gonna get it but new york and la seem to be the new sodom and gomorrah i left my boyfriend and i've been traveling for 10 days and i've slept with 22 people in that 10 days what does height matter it definitely it, does it, it does, does. You said height matters. It does. All right, and weight matters, so step on the scale. Weight matters, but if you're not strong enough to carry me, then bye bye. All right, then let's see. No, I don't want to do that. That's scary as fuck. Why? You're judging guys based on height, so I'm judging you based on weight. <laughs> Men do not take accountability, ever.
ever it, anytime a girl says anything to a guy like hey i think men should do something different they're like oh you just date the wrong men is this a global problem no. like if women are all having a collective experience and saying the same things about men who also don't go to therapy it's always men that anytime i say an issue that women have they always turn it back on themselves yeah. what is the thing we need to take accountability for that we're not taking accountability for you got me <laughs> Mm, I think men have a tendency to, uh, I think men, in, and Rolo, for example, hold on, hold on, like, gotcha, bitch. What do I need a man for? What do I need a man for? I've written a few things here that you need men for. Pause to read. If you lived in a, in a hut outside in nature, you would not be asking that question. You would see every day. You would say, what do I need men for? To keep threats away, to keep me safe. They go hunting. They bring back food. They provide. They protect. That's, that's what you needed men for back then. And ever since then, men have worked their asses off in, on railroads and in coal mines and going to war. And they created civilization, which is way better than that hut. And just recently, you've started to say that it's not fair that men have more of the wealth than you. And you want to make the same, but then you also want men to pay. So now we have this fake fictional situation where you think you're doing this yourself. You think you got up here on your own. But this is really what it comes from. This is, there are men today still overwhelmingly making all these things available for you. It, you mostly have comfy office jobs. But since you believe that you're doing this all yourself because you can't see what men are doing, you're treating most of them as unneeded. Like this, you're saying, what do we need men for? They're not needed. Even though they are still doing all of this and they're not getting very much for it. So now we have a situation where more and more women think that being a product manager is where all of this comes from. And men are dropping out because there's nothing in it for them. If you don't want a man in your life, that's up to you. But if you don't recognize that this is the situation we're living in, then we're all just in a lot of trouble. Men pay majority of the taxes, while women are about 65% of all credit card debt, and they collect far more welfare than men do. So women still depend on men, it's just indirect. They basically use the government to strong arm us into giving them what they need to believe that they're independent without giving anything in return. And what's even more interesting is women are far more likely to vote for welfare programs, but the only problem is if we don't have enough kids because we're experiencing population collapse, when we get to the ages where we're older, there aren't gonna be enough working people to provide those social benefits for the elderly. But you know, whatever, I guess that's just a problem for future us. The average yeah. man outside don't care if you got on Steve Madden's or East St. Laurent, he don't. That shit that y'all be competing with on your own, a nigga gonna fuck you if you got a Michael Kors bag or if you got a Birkin. But a nigga's gonna man. fuck you if you in a Honda or if you in a Bentley. Those are not things being put forth by men as requirements. That's y'all competing with each other. I don't think you're being honest. But I agree with I no I definitely do agree with Rico. You said before I men in here. I've he, I see it all the time and I hear it all the time. Men are attracted can, to a woman that's that's that's. Can I tell you something? But you're talking about somebody who I've lived a life where I got to experience a lot of wealth and see. This is this is a thing. So I can tell the difference. Yeah. Look, niggas are fuck that. Yeah. Why them girls not white? All of these girls that they look for on TV, take away Kim Kardashian. Take away select few ones. None of them ever got a fucking ring. They who everybody trying to emulate and who everybody trying to be. None of them got a stable house home. A household, pardon me. None of them got families with kids and a man and they out in Dubai as a couple. These same chicks that everybody trying to be, be in Dubai by their motherfucking self with the sheiks get pissing on them <laughs> for 25 grand. True story. The sheiks is making them fuck their kids for 50 grand. You don't see none of True. those girls with a man and a house and they showing themselves on Christmas with the matching pajamas. Very, very few of those same girls that we all want to be have that lifestyle. So y'all trying to find and emulate some shit that ain't even successful. Men not making no girl get no BBL. Ever. A chick is making themselves get a BBL to compete with what they think niggas like as a click. So on social media, this girl got 77,000 likes on social media. This skinny chick over here with a decent body got seven lights she happier than a motherfucker but do you think they do it because of the things they want Gucci. 
Like, do you think women are doing it because they want to? You think the women are are getting the BBLs and stuff because they think it comes with money and they just want things, or you think they're doing it because they want the men? I think that they insecure. Insecurities are the biggest thing in the world. She did say insecure. The biggest thing in the world to me is um, driving factor is insecurity. Whatever it is, we all have. Mm -hmm. Mine might be different. Yours, we all got them. Mm -hmm. Speak for yourself. What it really is is competition for male attention because regardless of what women say, they naturally compete for male attention, but it's all relative. And I think social media platforms are completely destroying people's minds. I mean, you can, and when I talk about relative, you can talk to a person in America with a $1,200 phone in their pocket and they genuinely believe they're poor. And that's just because of their relative experience going on these social media platforms makes them think that they don't have enough. And the same thing happens to the women. So you'll have a girl that's gorgeous, but because she's on social media, all day comparing her life to other women and looking at the amount of attention that other women are getting she assumes that she has to do the same thing that those women are doing to get that attention the only gag is all of those women are miserable and that's why they're on social media in the first place to be on vacation and trying to record every part of your day to monetize it you have to be a certain type of person and to be honest most of the people that i know that are happy have families and responsibilities they're not posting on social media you'll see 21 year old girls who haven't even given themselves a chance to develop trying to get plastic surgery continuously comparing your life to other people on social media is a guaranteed way to remain miserable because no matter how good you're doing there's always going to be a person that's doing better or at least trying to make themselves appear that way on social media uh people have to realize that most of the people that are active on social media all the time are miserable social media is fake let me know in the comments below if this video was a wrl and give me the hbo special that's our brother our special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content Till next time.